In this skill, we'll be determining if something is an acid or base according to the Bronsted-Lowry definition. The Bronsted-Lowry definition of an acid is that acids donate protons, or in other words, H plus ions. The Bronsted-Lowry definition of a base is that bases accept protons, or in other words, H plus ions. So in these questions, we're going to be looking at the different substances reacting together, and we're going to be determining which substance accepted a proton, that's going to be the base, and which substance donated a proton, that's going to be the acid. In this question, we have hydroionic acid, HI, which reacts with water, H2O, according to the following equation. So we've got HI to start with and water. They react to give I minus and H3O plus. In the previous skill, when we were talking about the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases, we had the same equation shown for hydroidic acid disassociating, except we showed it disassociating into H plus and I minus. This time we can see we've got it reacting with an H2O, and instead of forming an H plus, it's forming an H3O plus. Now, this equation here that shows an H plus formed is a little bit simplistic because that H plus is then going to go on to react with water to form H3O plus. The equation shown here this is a more realistic explanation of what's happening, which is that those H plus ions that's given off by the HI is then going to react with an H2O to form an H3O plus. So let's figure out what's our acid and what's our base in this question. So first looking at HI, HI is here. We're asked, does this accept or donate hydrogen ions in this reaction? Well, we start off with HI and we end up with I plus. So it looks like the HI has lost its H. In other words, we've given away an H. We've donated an H. So HI donates H plus here. And according to our definition, if we donate protons, or in other words, H plus ions, we're an acid. So that means that HI is an acid. Next, we're asked, does H2O accept or donate hydrogen ions in this reaction? So here's our H2O in our reactants. Then in the products, we have H3O plus. So our H2O has gained an H plus to become H3O plus. So does H2O accept or donate hydrogen ions? It accepts hydrogen ions because it's gaining one of them to become an H3O plus. So according to our Bronsted-Lowry definition, if we accept protons, or in other words, H plus ions, we're a base. So H2O is acting as a base in this equation. Let's do one more question of this type. In this question, we have water, H2O, reacting with ammonia, NH3, according to the following equation. So we're starting with H2O and NH3, we're ending up with OH minus and NH4 plus. So first, let's look at the water. We're asked, does H2O accept or donate hydrogen ions in this reaction? So we're starting with H2O, and then we're ending up with OH minus. So our H2O has lost an H to become OH. So in this situation, H2O donates an H plus because it gives it away. It gets rid of it because we lose an H from our H2O to form OH. So H2O donates H plus in this reaction. So according to our Bronsted-Lowry definition, if you donate protons, or in other words, H plus ions, you're an acid. So according to the Bronsted-Lowry definition, H2O is an acid in this reaction. 
Next, we're looking at NH3 ammonia, and we're asked if it accepts or donates hydrogen ions in this reaction. So here's NH3. We end up with NH4+. So the NH3 gains an H plus to become NH4 plus. So that means that NH3 accepts H plus in this reaction. So according to the bronsted lowry definition, if we accept protons or H plus ions, we're a base. So NH3 is a base according to this definition. So that's all you have to do in this type of question. We're just deciding if each substance is donating, in other words, giving away an H plus, or accepting, in other words, gaining an H+. If you donate an H+, you're an acid. If you accept H+, you're a base. One thing that's important to note, in the first question we did, water acted as a base. And in the second question we did, water acted as an acid. Water is special that way. It can act as either an acid or a base, which means that it's amphoteric. Amphoteric means you can act as either an acid or a base.